Hey reefers, welcome back to Grand Canyon Reefs, and today we're talking about how I keep my reef tank cool in the hot state of Arizona. Now let's get into the video. As you may be able to tell from the name of my channel, I am located in the hot desert state of Arizona and during our summer months of May to August, it regularly reaches around 120 degrees here in Phoenix and obviously all houses do have AC and most houses are kind of set between 72 and 78 degrees, which is technically within the margin of error for our tanks, but that's not enough. Between the high powered LEDs aimed directly above your tank, um, an excessive number amount of pumps that we use to generate flow that also generate heat and then the random heat waves that come inside when you open a door to the exterior. Air conditioning often isn't enough to achieve the stability that most reef keepers want in hot states like Arizona. And in steps the wonderful creation of chillers, specifically water chillers designed to work with salt water. As you can see mine is positioned to the right of my tank and is fed via my return pump. Chillers are extremely effective at cooling water anywhere from 1 to 10 degrees in a matter of hours, but they are also very space consuming, use a large amount of electricity, and can cost an absolute fortune. An aquarium chiller can range in price from $500 to well over $1,000 depending on the size of your tank and the amount of degrees that you're wanting to chill your water down. A 15 horsepower chiller can roughly lower 30 gallons up to 5 degrees and 100 gallons up to 1 degree. And on the opposite end, a half horsepower chiller can roughly lower 140 gallons 5 degrees and 450 gallons 1 degree. I know that was a lot of numbers, but the big point to take away is that they take up a large amount of space, they're heavy, they draw a large amount of power, which is just more electricity added onto your house's bill, in addition to them being very, very expensive and costly. The chiller that I have set up on my tank is a 1 tenth horsepower and during the hottest months my tank can generally reach around 81 degrees without it and during the first year i owned the chiller i noticed that during may through august it was on for pretty much the entire portion of the day it was very loud it generated a lot of heat in this cabinet and in general in the room and i thought that it would definitely break a lot faster than maybe it should given how often that it was having to work so i decided to add a cheap clip-on fan from amazon right above the tank pointed at the water and this is a method called evaporative cooling, which is used in all sorts of real world applications like kitchens and greenhouses and even like sweating. Um, and the effectiveness varies depending on the room temperature, the speed of the fan and how far it is from the water. So after I kind of tuned it in, I was able to cut my chiller usage down to around two to four hours during the middle of the day, which was better, but still up to my standards. With the chiller costing close to $1,000 for a new one, I was really trying to extend the life of my chiller as long as possible, so I started looking into some different better options. And in my search for different potential better fans, I stumbled across Harry's Aquatics, the home of three printed products and printing services specialized in modern reef aquariums. And as you can see here, he has a large array of different 3D printed objects for your reef tank. A large amount of these are compatible directly with products like Apex or Hydros or the Inkbird mounting controller you see there. So it's a great way to organize your different accessories or get some extra functionality out of them in different ways that you haven't used before like toggle button switches for your Neptune Apex. And here is where you also see the custom aquarium cooling system or the fan. And so this here is a 3D printed mold that can hold a just a common like computer fan. And as I scroll through these different pictures, it can be in white and black, as you can see, and it's very sleek and modern looking, relatively speaking. And I really like this as I was reading through the description of what it was capable of and just how much you could really tailor it exactly to your needs. So if you didn't want to get your own fan, he could uh, put a high end waterproof fan in there as well as he'd be able to choose like the, the cord routing specifically to whatever you need it. And he also includes a 3D file, so if you have your own 3D printer, you can DIY it at home. And you might notice that this item at the very top here says sold out, and it is actually not. But instead, that each item is made custom to your tank. So what you have to do is click on this contact us link and put in your information. 
and then just kind of give some details about what you're looking for and what size your tank is and things like that. And he can help custom make your cooling fan for really, you know, getting rid of the need for a chiller. And so here you can see mine mounted on the back left of my tank. I chose black because um, a good amount of the different accessories and cords that I have on the back portion of the tank are black, so I thought it would kind of blend in well. And overall, it's between two to three inches, but as you can see there, the Ecotech pump is a little bit larger than that, so very sleek. And the cord runs down to my apex, where it's controlled via my temperature pro of my tank. And I've now been running this fan on my tank for the past a little bit over a year, and I can gladly say that it helps tremendously, and a lot more over the cheap clip-on fan as well. During this past summer, my chiller only had a cut on one day when it got to, I believe, 122 here in Phoenix. And other than that, I didn't hear it cut on at any point during the hot part of the days or any time during the day um, for months. So really kind of made my chiller in this tank obsolete, which is really nice. So this fan is just a great way, if you guys don't want to spend the money for a chiller, or don't have the space, it's a great alternative to be able to lower your tank if you live in a hotter state. And now that we discussed how I cool my reef tank, please enjoy some coral video montages from my Red Sea Reefer 425 G2 tank that is just around a year old. And be sure to stay tuned in the next couple weeks as I post another video soon about my one year update of the tank and things that have gone well and not so well. And don't forget to like and subscribe and happy reefing.